Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Fire Alarm Test number 34. So this is Fire Alarm Test 34, another long-weighted Fire Alarm Test that I have not made for another two months, and I'm going to make this one for, for the celebration of, because 2020 is is about to come and we're about to kiss 2019 i mean we're about to kiss 2019 bye bye and let's get started with this te let's get started with this test so before we start testing this device we're going to look at the device first like we always do so the device that we're going to be testing today we're going to be testing the Wheelock CH-DL1-WS-24 this is an older version of the Wheelock CH70. As your typical, this is your typical Wheelock chime strobe. This is the older version, and this one was made in the 37th week of 1997. So, let's look at this device, shall we? As you can see, as you bring it over on the front, as you can see, you have your strobe right there. You got your you, you got your WS strobe on, and if you look on the side, it's got fire lettering on the sides. Bringing it over to the sides, like one angle at a time. So this device is a really old device, so here's your Wheelock logo at the bottom. Now, and you got your uh, octagon shaped speaker on on the front behind the strobe right here and you got your mounting holes right here to mount the device now let's bring it over to the back as you can see this is your typical wheelock chime strobe as you can see it is a four wire device let's zoom in and let's get a closer look here as you can see this this is a really old chime strobe these two terminals are for the strobe and these two are for the actual chime here's your label right here and you got your big capacitor that's poking out of the hole this t and this is the tone knob and this is the volume knob and right there is your jumper that selects the alarm for single stroke or vibrate so vibrate is basically for continuous if you have the panel in continuous for um, single stroke, which is the SS, if you put this thing for single stroke, you can run the chime on temporal code three, slow march time, fast march time, or California code. So I think that's pretty cool, but this chime strobe acts a little bit different, but I will show you in the video. And right here, you have your volume selection screw to turn up and turn down the volume. And you got your tone selection, which changes the pitch lower or higher. So, and you got, you. so this is basically your whole chime module on the back. So let's, let's get a closer look at that data tag. As you can see, there's the model number, and it's eight, and here is the range right there. Here's the range, and there's your 1.5 candela strobe, and this one was, and this is made in the 37th week of 1992, not 1997. I was wrong, guys. Sorry about that. I was wrong. This device is so old, but this device acts a little bit different. So... That's basically your whole whole thing. And there is your positive and negative for the strobe and chime right there. So I just basically showed you all the details. And by the way, that's the transformer. So there you guys go. Let's bring it back over to the front. Okay, so first up, we're going to start out by testing the strobe. 
and we're going to see how bright this thing is. And plus, this thing is not supposed to be too bright because it's only 1.5 candela. And this, the, and this black wire is coming from my 12 volt DC power supply. And I know the strobe is, is going to flash very slow. It's going to be a slow flasher for now because I'm only powering this thing up with 12 volts. And so, anyways, let's start. Let's, let's go. Three, two, one. As you can see, it is a very slow flasher because I'm only running this thing off of 12 volts. And, the, and here's the power supply that I'm using, which is right there, and it's sitting on my chair. That's the power supply that I'm using. My Fios... 12 volt DC transformer power supply that my father gave me. Okay, back to the alarm. So, hey Google, turn off the light. As you can see with the strobe flashing in the dark, it's not that bright at all. As you may know, this is pretty much the same strobe as on the Wheelock 7002T series, you know. Yeah, with 12 volts, this strobe um, flashes very slow and not too bright. It is, it is kind of hard to see on camera, guys. I know it's a lot better to look at it in person, but as you can see, this strobe is not even hurting my eyes because this thing does really soft flashes and all that. It does really soft flashes. As and I think 12 volts DC is very reasonable for a strobe like this. And it does slow, soft flashes. Hey Google, turn on the light. There we go. As you can see... That, that was weird. I thought I heard the chime go off, but no. I only have the strobe connected on the left two terminals, which are for the strobe. And you could hardly hear the capacitor. So this thing does soft flashes. So this is pretty much the same strobe as the uh, Wheelock 7002T series. And the WST series as well. And these things can take a full wave rectified power if needed. Okay, let's shut off the strobe now. Okay. Okay, on to the next part. Okay, now we're going to test the chime and strobe together. And I will give you guys a fair warning with this device. Um... Please be very careful with your Wheelock CH70s because I heard that some fire marshals, um, sometimes these Wheelock CH70s can break real easily with the, the chime modules and all that. So be very careful. And this thing is pretty old. And, 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 the, and another weird thing about this device, it does that long polarization for um, 15 to 20 seconds. I'm not sure why, what causes that. 
I think it has something to do with the components on the circuit board worn out or something like that because this device is about almost 30 years old. So let's, anyways, let's switch on the power. You guys ready? Three, two, one. As you can see, we're doing someone okay. Let's unhook the power supply. <laughs> yeah, that does sound kind of funny when it's powering down. I just unhooked the power supply to it. And I will demonstrate all the, the, the tone adjust, adjustments in another video someday, guys. But we're just going to leave it on this pitch for now. So let's just get to the final part of the test. Now for the final part of the test, we're going to be using my... Yes, we're going to be using my Simplex T-Bar. And plus, I've seen this combo before, um, Simplex T-Bars with... Uh, chime strobes before in a hospital one so you basically find this setup sometimes you would find these um setups in uh doctor's offices and hospitals and all that so so these so you would basically find this combo in a hospital or doctor's office or any sort of medical center so um anyways let's give it a pull three two one. Yeah, this device is very quiet and pleasant for hospitals and doctor's offices and all that. So, let's reset the pull station. So, there we go. Pull station's reset. Let's give it one more pull. Let's stick our B key in here. Oh, turn it to the left. Open it up. Resets. Whoops. There we go. Let's do drill mode. I can do that all night if I wanted to. <laughs> well... So, that's basically all it is, guys. Fire alarm test 34, big success. So, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Wheelock Chime Strobe, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and basically that's all it is. And hopefully I will bring you guys more fire alarm test demos and full system tests real soon. And thank you very much, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video, and happy holidays. I hope you guys have a great night, and plus, it is midnight, so I don't want to do this too late at night. So, I, pick a, I figured I would do this for you guys for 
a late at night uh, fire alarm test and such doing a loud instead of doing a loud obnoxious sound so with this device you don't you don't have a loud noise so I think this was reasonable to test in the middle of the night so I think it puts out a more quiet and pleasant sound so thank you very much everybody and I hope you enjoyed this fire alarm test of this setup so thank you all for watching and that will be it